How's it going everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new, I'm TJ Speaks. Thank you for tuning in and to the returning viewers, welcome back and thanks for tuning in yet again. Cloud chasing. We live in a day and age where people will do anything for attention and likes. A common understanding of what cloud chasing is, is when someone does or says anything for the sole purpose of becoming more popular. It is, of, it is most often used to describe people desperate to gain followers and become famous by any means necessary. We see this happen more often now due to the rise of social media. People will post themselves doing the wildest stuff in the hope of going viral. From destroying public property, pranking people, to eating cement, to gluing their hands onto their head. They will say stuff they don't even believe in, in the hopes of being mass retweeted and going viral. Regardless of how you feel about these antics, one thing that is that it has proven is that it tends to work, and we are the cause of that. We're told growing up that we should be well-behaved, be a positive contribution towards society, stay in school, get good grades, don't do bad things, or you'll face the consequences down the line. In this cloud-chasing era we live in, it seems the worse behaved you are, the better. Life is about decisions and outcomes. If your decisions lead to the outcomes you want, then you're living a successful life. Cloud chasers want attention, they want fame and money, and they end up getting it. The only way they get it is if we the public give it to them. So I can't even go at the cloud chasers, we the people are the problem. Any attention is good attention in the social media age. The aim nowadays is to go viral. If you can go viral doing anything, it's good for the brand. Once you have that one viral video, the sky's the limit. And even better if it, it can be made into a song, a meme, or something that can just be shared everywhere online. This is why most songs nowadays always seem to have a dance challenge attached to it, in the hopes that it gains popularity and spreads and gets more people listening to the actual song. Many people have gone viral, but failed to capitalize on it beyond the initial shock value. But the first and the person that we're going to be focusing on today is Daniel Bergroli aka Bad Baby, who took her viral moment and thus far has turned it into over $50 million. Catch me outside, how about that? Bad Baby went viral with that saying after appearing on the Dr. Phil show because her mother was having trouble controlling her behavior. I remember back in 2016, 2017 when she went viral, she was everywhere. You couldn't go online without hearing about her. Songs, memes, you name it, she was everywhere. That segment was the most watched segment on Dr. Phil's show and has over 50 million views on YouTube today. Memes, videos, songs were made and unlike others, she capitalized on it. She knew people wanted to see her doing wild things and being misbehaved. So she would give the people what she wanted on her social media platforms. Her following grew from a few thousand people to 16 million followers on Instagram as of this month and it continues to rise. She started releasing music and actually had a really successful single named Hi Bitch, which went platinum. She signed a million dollar makeup deal and now has made over $52 million through her OnlyFans account in one year. Back in 2021, Billboard confirmed that the 19 year old racked up $1 million on OnlyFans in six hours. Yeah, you heard that right. She made a million dollars in six hours. She charges $24 per month for access to photos and videos on her OnlyFans page, which she created just a week after her 18th birthday. So if we're talking about, is it legal? I mean, for now, everything she's doing, everything she's doing is legal. Perfectly all right. But you see, this is why bad behavior gets rewarded. And more people are doing whatever it takes to go viral. We have proven that we enjoy watching it and giving attention to it. People like Lil Pump, Takashi69, Lil Tay, Bad Baby, and more are here to stay because we consume what they do. We consume their content, we buy their merchandise, and listen to their songs. We give them the popularity, we give them the fame. To those of you who may not be impressed by their behavior or these antics, don't go after them. Go after the people who consume it. Nobody forces anyone to follow Bad Baby. Guys willingly sign up to her OnlyFans and give her money. She knows these men do this, so she's capitalizing on them in a win-win situation. They get her pictures, she gets their money. Whether that's a fair trade or not according to you, hey, doesn't really matter. 
these guys seem $24 a month is more than worth it for them to pay for uh, these pictures. It might speak to a larger problem in society, but in terms of outcomes and results, they're both getting the outcomes they want. They get their pictures, she gets their money. You may not like it, but she's a very savvy businesswoman. She isn't even nude in the pictures, but wearing a bikini most of the time. And bikini pics, let's be honest, we see bikini pics and even worse on Instagram. So she's making bank doing the bare minimum. This is why my issue isn't with the women that do OnlyFans, but the guys consuming it. There are going to be more and more women flocking to OnlyFans because they see how successful their peers, friends, and celebrities like Bad Baby are getting through it. Don't be surprised if you hear about your colleague or the mother at your school or someone that you know personally is doing OnlyFans because the outcomes are proving to be successful. And like I said before, life is about decisions and outcomes. And if you're getting the outcomes you want, you're you're leading a successful life. Bad Baby clearly has a very smart team that capitalized on her viral moment and turned her into a multi-millionaire before she was 18 years old. At this rate, I'm guessing she can do OnlyFans for a few years and make over $200 million on it. And if she makes some smart investments and doesn't blow it, she can be a billionaire before she's 30, easily. I mean, she's only 19 now. Levin used to be a billionaire. If she made $50 million in one year, let's say she does that even, let me be modest and say she does that for about five years. That's about $250 million. If she invests that properly, she can even be a billionaire by 25. Between 25 and 30. That, that's my guess. Between 25 and 30. Also, she has a music, which will be making money for her with every play on Spotify, YouTube, etc., She controls all of her media. So every time we talk about her, every time we play her music, every time we, you know, give her a like, give her attention, she can monetize that into better deals for more money. And recently, she bought herself a $6 million mansion in cash because in her words, because I can. People see how successful she has gotten as a result of her unruly behavior and capitalizing on her viral moment. And want that for themselves. That's just human nature. If I see you doing something and it's working for you, it's only human nature for me to think, what if I try it? I can also do that. We're going to continue seeing people do wild things in the hopes of having a viral moment. Because it works. Offset and Cardi B. Maybe some of you have heard of the song Clout. A song made by Offset and Cardi B talking about how well people, how people will do anything for Clout. And if Clout chasing can get you millions of dollars, make you famous, people will continue to do anything for Clout. And honestly, at this point, I find it hard to blame them because the results speak for themselves. If society frowned upon cloud chasers and didn't give them the outcomes they wanted, I guarantee it wouldn't be nearly as possible as it is today. But like I said towards the beginning of the video, life is about decisions and outcomes. If your decisions lead to the outcomes you want, then you're living a successful life. Thank you all for tuning into this video. Curious to know what you guys think about it. Um, I mean, this whole cloud chasing age we're in, we are part of the problem, but it's here to stay. So it's either you learn to learn to live with it, learn to monetize it, or learn to ignore it. But it's here to stay. I hope you found it informative. I hope you found the video informative. And whether you agree or disagree with me, thank you for listening in. I'm TJ Speaks. I'll catch you all in the next video. Take care.